Minister of Education, Human Resource Development, Religious Affairs and Information, Honorable Emlyn Pear. District 4 Education Officer, Mrs. Curleen Aben Marshall. Pastor Stevenson Worm. President of the GBSS Parent Teachers Association, Mrs. Nerissa Jilks. Headmaster of the GBSS, Mr. Philip Thomas. Headmaster Emeritus of the GBSS and Educator Extraordinaire, Mr. Victor Ashby CBE. Members of staff, parents and guardians, graduates, GBSS old boys and old girls. Greetings from St. Kitts and Nevis. The year was 1987, and there I was, valedictorian and a proud member of the graduating class of the GBSS. Wonderful memories. The year is 2020, and here we are, about to discharge 122 young men of the GBSS. Class of 2020, what a year. But against all obstacles and odds, you did it. Parents, guardians, teachers, and friends, behold the fruits of your labors. Please join me in a rousing applause for our graduates. I wish to thank Headmaster Thomas, a UWI classmate, and the organizing committee for their kind invitation to deliver the feature address. This is my third feature address at a GBSS graduation. The previous occasions were in 2005 and 2009. At this juncture, I wish to commend the GBSS on navigating an exceptionally difficult year. Against that backdrop, I especially commend the GBSS on its success in the 2020 CSEC examinations, which included securing the top two performances on Ireland. In this regard, I make special mention of the exceptional performances of two graduates, Giovanni de Gans, who secured 18 CSEC subjects, 16 grade ones, one grade two, and one grade three, the highest number of subjects attempted and passed in the 135-year history of the GBSS. And Sekou Sam, who secured 16 subjects, 13 grade ones, two grade twos, and one grade three. Gentlemen, the sky is the limit. Now go for it. I now turn to our theme, Overcoming the global challenges and vicissitudes of life, we step purposefully into the future with God's guidance. Vicissitudes of life. Vicissitudes are the things life throws at us, often when we least expect, and sometimes unpleasant and unwelcome. Like the COVID-19 pandemic, which has upended our world and our lives, and which has forced me to deliver this address virtually rather than in person as I would have much preferred. The first time I recall hearing this big word vicissitudes was actually from the mouth of the legendary Victor Ashby, my former English teacher and the longest serving headmaster of the GBSS. I pay tribute to Mr. Ashby for his colossal contribution to education, the GBSS, Grenada, and his remarkable global impact. Mr. Ashby, sir, may God continue to richly bless you. This grateful old boy says thank you for everything you have done for me and the GBSS. On a sad note, I wish to acknowledge the valuable contribution of the late Jeff Fisher, gongsman and school barber, among many other things. Mr. Fisher will always be remembered by our GBSS family with affection and gratitude. The global challenges, 
Today, global challenges abound, with the COVID-19 pandemic at the very top. What started as a health emergency has evolved into a full-blown economic crisis with devastating effects on lives and livelihoods. According to the World Economic Forum's 2020 Global Risk Report, our global challenges include climate change and clean energy, rising inequality and social cohesion, digital fragmentation and cybersecurity, and severely stressed healthcare systems. Our tourism-dependent region is now experiencing the largest economic shock on record. That said, I remain confident that our region will recover and emerge stronger and more resilient starting next year. Today, I am pleased to confirm that our EC dollar remains strong. The backing in foreign reserves is 97%. If there is one word that sums up both our global challenges and the vicissitudes of life, that word is uncertainty. Our world today is pregnant with uncertainty. And in times of uncertainty and disruption, leadership is especially important. The GBSS has a proud and enviable record of producing high caliber leaders at all levels of society, including heads of government and heads of state. Of course, it would be remiss of me not to mention en passant that the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank has had three governors, two being products of the GBSS, the late Sir K. Dwight Venner and your humble servant. Grenada and our world will continue to need and demand leadership that is people-centered, positive, principled, and potent. My first leadership lessons were at home, and my first public speaking opportunities were at church. However, I am eternally grateful to the GBSS for cultivating my skills in both arenas. That included my role as head boy and years of debating, which culminated in my role as student prime minister in our student parliamentary debate. Graduates, in the time remaining, I wish to offer you some suggestions organized around the acronym of our beloved alma mater, GBSS. G. G stands for God and a Growth Mindset. Suggestion number one, put God first. My mother, a master educator and retired primary school principal, often said, you can have more degrees than a thermometer, but if you do not know God, you are a fool, an educated fool. And why so? Because Psalm 14 warns that the fool has said in his heart, there is no God. But that is not all. Educated fools often become clever devils. You see, graduates, education is extremely important, but you need a moral compass to guide you throughout your life. Each of us must have a core, our values, and a code, how we live. Please avoid the common tendency and grave mistake to embrace God as a child and abandon him as an adult. Far too often, people demote God when they begin to receive their promotions and only run back to him when they encounter trouble. Does anyone recall the famous story of David and Goliath? Goliath was a giant over nine feet tall. To David, a teenager like you, Goliath seemed like a mountain, and yet, David defeated Goliath because he trusted in his God and went to battle in the name of the Lord. Against all odds and the pundits, David won. Graduates, put God first. Trust him in everything that you do. Suggestion number two, adopt a growth mindset. A growth mindset, in contrast to a fixed mindset, 
We frame problems as opportunities, failures as lessons, and criticism as feedback. Graduates, a growth mindset will set you up for lifelong learning and render you relevant for opportunities and more resilient in times of adversity. B. B stands for balance. So here's suggestion number three. Strive for emotional balance. The vicissitudes of life mean that as you navigate life, you will experience highs and lows. One of my mantras is never get too high, never get too low. Repeat that with me. Never get too high, never get too low. Yes, we are human, but strive with God's help to avoid the emotional roller coasters where you swing from one end of the emotional spectrum to the next. Strive for emotional equilibrium balance. Celebrate the highs without going over the top. And when the lows arrive, avoid getting too down and descending into depression. Never forget, the GBSS graduate must be a leader who is even keel, capable of taking the good with the bad, rolling with the punches, while always moving forward. S. S stands for skills. Suggestion number four, keep skilling and reskilling. The late American futurist Alvin Toffel asserted, and I quote, the illiterate of the 21st century will not be those who cannot read and write, but those who cannot learn, unlearn, and relearn, end of quote. Graduates, if you wish to stay relevant in a highly competitive world, you are compelled to commit to lifelong learning. I could never forget a conversation I had with an 18-year-old in Singapore when I visited in 2006. He told me he was in the process of retraining for a new career in digital technologies because his prime minister always says Singaporeans have to reskill to stay relevant. Hearing that from an 18-year-old simply blew my mind. No wonder Singapore has achieved greatness. Let, let's understand this. The children of Singapore, which by the way is the size of Dominica, are not brighter than the children of the Caribbean. They do not possess bigger brains or better brains. However, their brains are better trained and they have a growth mindset. Their education system recognizes from whence the jobs of the 21st century will come, the digital economy. That digital economy requires a wider range of skills, including advanced digital skills such as coding, software and app development, network management, machine learning, big data analysis, artificial intelligence, and cybersecurity. It also requires soft skills such as communication, creative thinking, teamwork, leadership, and entrepreneurship. Today, this combination of skills is referred to as STEAM. Science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics. I commend the GBSS on its delivery of technical skills. However, I urge Grenada and our region to urgently refocus and revamp our education to focus on 21st century skills rather than subjects. Before moving on, let me briefly mention three areas where the ECCB is supporting the build out of a digital economy in our region. First, digitization of the EC dollar. The ECCB is poised to become one of the first central banks to issue a digital currency. Very soon, we will launch Dcash using blockchain technology. 
Second, Bright Sparks program. Since 2017, the ECCB has offered an internship program to our state colleges in information technology called Bright Sparks. To date, five students, including two from Grenada, have benefited from this program, and all are now permanently employed here at the ECCB. Third, Caribbean Digital Transformation Project, and this is with support from the World Bank. This project is geared to increase internet connectivity and access to digital financial services, access to e-government services, digital skills and entrepreneurship, and data protection and cyber security. Graduates, take responsibility for your skilling and reskilling. Never forget, you cannot lead if you do not read. May you stay not just forever young, but forever skilled. S. S stands for service. And here is suggestion number five. Serve humanity. Could I see the hands of the graduates who wish to be great? Good. I see you. Yes, I see you. And I see you. Very good. The great Martin Luther King once said, and I quote, everyone can be great because anybody can serve. End of quote. About 14 years ago, I was at the World Bank having lunch with a senior officer when she asked me, where do you see yourself in five years? I reflected briefly before replying, back in the Caribbean, helping to find solutions to our problems. She looked at me and I sensed she was not overly impressed. I think she may have been looking for something more definitive, perhaps a specific role, even a title. Perhaps it seemed that I lacked ambition. But truth be told, then as it is now, all I've ever wanted to do is serve. Fourteen years later, that remains my abiding passion. To serve my God, my country, and my region. Now how did service become such a passion of mine? It started with my parents and the values they taught me. Today, my top life values are faith, family, and service to others. So let me ask you, what are your top life values? Write them down and be intentional about living them out. Throughout my 27 years of public service, I have faced rigorous examinations of both my character and my competence. And the principle that has always guided me is found in Colossians 3.23. And I quote now from the New International Version. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for human masters. End of quote. Graduates. Focus on service. Focus on serving others and maximize your humanity. Now before I move on, I must warn you. When you serve, please expect criticism. And understand that not all criticism is bad. In fact, here at the ECCB we say feedback is a gift. You may not always like it, but it's a gift. I have a very simple approach to criticism, and it's this. Truth or trash? Two buckets. If it is truth, tough as it may be, I embrace it and I get better. If it is trash, I dump it, stay focused, and get on with the job. In conclusion, 
I congratulate the graduating class of 2020. You will never forget this year. Now and forever, you are to be proud alumni of the GBSS. I have high and every expectation that Grenada and our world will be well served by this cadre of young men exiting the hallowed walls of the GBSS today. As you travel on the road called life, please remember that GBSS also stands for God and a growth mindset, balance, skills, and service. Graduates, put God first and adopt a growth mindset. Strive for emotional balance. Keep skilling and reskilling and serve humanity. And now go forth and help build our world. God bless you. I thank you all.